Welcome to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be changing the oil in a 2024 MDX. This particular model is the S-Type. That's the type of motor oil it calls out for. I'm using Castro Edge. And I'm going to use a MicroGuard MGL 57356 oil filter as a replacement. First thing I do is I'm applying the part brake and I'm chalking the rear wheel. I'm using the jacking point right behind the front wheel to jack the car. I'm leaving the jack in place, but I do have a jack stand underneath the uh, lower control arm of the, of the vehicle for safety. I did move the jack over to the side, lift it up, and put another jack stand underneath the control arm on each side. Still, the jack remains in place. All right, the way I've got this jacked up, this side of the car is a little low. The drain plug is on that side, more so than this side. Would really be beneficial if the car was level or leaning that way slightly. So I'm going to move the jack over here, put a little bit of lift on the driver's side. All right, lift on the driver's side added. All right, we're at the passenger side or the right side of the car. We go over here in the wheel well. Pull myself over there. We see our oil filter up here. It's in a terrible spot. It's going to bleed all over everything. All right, so we got to replace that. But before we do that, we got to drain the oil. We got to find the oil plug. All right, so we just saw the oil filter. If we go over just to the right of midline of the car, I'm getting caught in cracks on the concrete here. There's this pan here, and this pan opens. And right underneath that opening, right in that opening of that pan, is the oil drain plug. Engine oil. There you go. So we gotta take that out. That's a that requires a 17 millimeter socket. All right, here's the dipstick. We'll use that, and then here's our oil field cap. We'll uh, crack that open, allow air to flow in, and we'll take the drain plug out. All right, here's the oil drain plug, which I can't see. I'm gonna. Viewing it through the camera. Oh, knocking my socket off. We'll crack this loose a little bit. Uh oh, I'm on a creeper. Not great. Tire. Tire anchor. Oh, broke it loose. All right, so well, I'm trying to avoid. Is this thing draining onto my concrete? So I'm gonna sit you down for a second and get the oil drain started. It's loose. It's loose, you can see it. It's loose. If that oil's down to a trickle. We'll let that run a little bit longer until it just uh, gets to a single drop at a time, and then we'll put the uh, plug back in and take the filter off. All right, got the drain plug back in, back in. Clean up any uh, oil that spills around the area. Clean it off your shield if it gets on your shield. And the torque spec for this is 29 foot pounds. Be careful with that. All right, moving right along to the oil filter. Right, I put a second pan down here because this is the first time doing this for me. I'm not sure how this thing's going to drain, although I do have a makeshift drain guide, funnel, whatever you want to call it, so that it falls down into my pan. We'll see. I've already got the filter a little bit broke loose. I just want to make sure I could get it loose before I stuck that in there, so it's in there. I'm going to reach in there, unscrew it, and whatever happens, happens. Oh, it's running here too, which is why I got the second pan. I don't think I can catch both of those with one. 
Oh, yep, I can. Just gonna let that drain. All right, if you're uh, a Napa customer, there's the filter number for the CarQuest version if you're if you're interested all right and i just butted the two filters together put a little bit of oil on this oil filter before we go to put it in and this is three quarters of a turn after contact so not too tight all right, there you go. Full filter in. All right, filters in. Plugs in. We're going to take the vehicle off with the jack stands. All right, here's the engine oil right out of the book. 5.2 U.S. quarts. 4.9 liters. If you just change the fluid, if you change the fluid and the filter, it's 5.5 U.S. quarts. 5.2 liters, and you'll notice it says Acura Genuine Motor Oil. Acura? Acura? Oh my gosh. Acura Genuine Motor Oil. OW20. Now, all you have to do is point out the Acura oil refining facility to show me where they're making their oil. So there's uh, really no Acura Genuine Motor Oil. It's somebody else's. And I'm using Castro. Get over it, Acura. We use this funnel to put the oil in. If your wife is anything like mine, we're gonna make a stop by a dollar store. Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Dollar something, and they sell these for cheap. And I got about 20 of them. All right, so there we go. We use that to fill up. All right, let's pour some oil. I did clean out my funnel before I started pouring, so. See FYI, it's not a dirty funnel. Give it a couple minutes to flow, settle at the bottom, and we'll uh, check it. All right, give it a little. Let's give it a little check. Pull the dipstick out. Clean it off. Clean. Put the dipstick back in, push it all the way in, give it a second, pull it out, and look at there. Right at the full mark. How about that? But we're not gonna count that as full because we're gonna cycle the engine, get the oil in the filter, and then we'll uh, check it again. So we're gonna do that. Time out. I take the funnel out, put the cap on. All right, we'll let the uh, oil settle to the bottom of the engine, and then we'll check it again. Let's check the oil one more time. Pull it out, clean it off. Get it clean. Dip it all the way. Wait a second. Pull it out. See? We're about half a quart low. That's at 0.5 with the oil filter. So we've got to add a, 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 half, a, half a liter. I mean, half a quart. Hello. Stuck from the metric system. All right. Let's add half a liter. Half a liter. Oh my gosh. Half a quart. Insert my handy dandy funnel. Half a quart. There we go. That's half a quart. Put the oil fill cap back on. Pull the dipstick out, clean it off. We hit the water hose, so we're cleaning off the water hose. 
Back in. Give it a second. Pull it out. Check it. Boom, on the money. All right, we're gold. All right, one more step remaining. Well, I said one more step, but it's really two. So, you see the maintenance due soon popping up right there? We gotta fix that. So how do we get to that? That's the question of the day. All right, so I'm using this touch pad here. Navigate over here to settings. Oh, that's not where I want. Settings. Vehicle. Maintenance information. Oil and filter. And there it is. Reset at the bottom. Reset. Reset B oil and filter. Reset. Alright, oil life. Now it's at 100%. Alright, we're golden. That was the next to the last step. Now for the last step. Alright, Acura gives you this maintenance journal and there's already some filled out pages but this one is replace the engine oil and filter right here so we're going to check this put our mileage down and the date i also will put this in here i normally would staple this to the page but i don't know if i want to staple that or just set it in here we'll see if you don't have one of these from your manufacturer get a small notebook one of the little hand sized notebooks and write down what you do to your car and when you sell it if you have that information it, it you know people feel warm and fuzzy and a couple hundred extra dollars for the selling price uh, it'll 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 bring you all right that's this, this is the last step i'll do that you don't need to see me do that and uh guys hit like and subscribe it's free it helps me out i don't know who likes i don't know who subscribes i don't get that kind of information the only thing i know is who comments if you comment to me uh yeah it helps me out like and subscribe anyway that's the way i did it guys have a good day everybody